And we're going to start with that story. Manatee County is one of the first in the state to approve needle exchange programs in an effort to fight the spread of infectious diseases like HIV and hepatitis C. And as our Phil Buck reports, despite opposition for those who take a hard stance against those programs, the evidence shows needle exchange programs not only reduce the spread of those diseases, they can also cause addicts to get the help that they need. Are these effective programs? Yes, they are. Uh, Manatee County Commissioner Kara Whitmore has a unique perspective on the issue of needle exchanges. In her day job, she's a nurse with more than 40 years in the medical field. In all my years of nursing, I've seen way too many people uh, get uh, these disease process from needles, dirty needles. And whether you like it or not, they're going to keep using them. You either provide them clean ones or dirty ones. So. To me, this is a no-brainer. Valerie Wojohowicz knows firsthand how big a difference using clean needles can make. Wojohowicz contracted HIV and hepatitis C as an intravenous drug user. And now 33 years clean and sober, she works helping others in her job at Can Community Health. Uh, when you don't have access to clean needles, you'll use really anything. And folks that don't understand addiction don't get that that's not a choice. Folks on the news feeds say things like, oh, let them die, who cares, they shouldn't get Narcan. But reducing the incidence of HIV and hepatitis C is a public health issue. That helps everybody. Now, Whitmore hopes other counties will follow Manatee County's lead on the issue, despite the fact that there will always be those who claim needle exchanges enable drug users. I did not get one negative comment before this came before the commission. After the fact, I did, but that's because they're uneducated and don't know what, what this program is for. We're not promoting drug you know, uh, abuse. We're not promoting that. We're, pre we're trying to prevent the blood-borne diseases, and this is going to be a way to do that. Under state law, no taxpayer dollars can be used to run the needle exchange programs, and now that Manatee County has approved it, local nonprofits or for-profit businesses will need to run those exchanges.